Yeah, for sure. So it, it is a large increase even over last year and obviously over several years prior. Uh, previous owners of the property were spending around $300,000 per annum on the property, largely due to the royalty burdens that was across both assets. So we see a dramatic increase this last year and this year. And with respect to the split, it's about 50-50 uh, between pure exploration and resource development. We obviously had some great success last year with increasing our resources. We expect to have more this year. That's about 10 million dollars of that 10 of that 20 million dollar budget and then with respect to split between the assets it's about 30 percent beta hunt 70 percent higginsville Yeah, absolutely. So uh, just as, as a reminder, uh, the Beta Hunt operation was a nickel mine for many, many years prior to being a gold mine. So we're seeing continued success on the nickel side of the equation here. Uh, those results we put out last week were, were definitely exciting for ourselves and for investors. And we do expect to be mining nickel concurrently with gold. They are in the same part of the operation and we expect to be achieving some pretty significant byproduct credits from nickel at Beta Hunt. They will always be a byproduct. Our, our focus does remain on the gold, but obviously those grades of nickels will provide some significant cash flow offsetting our costs of gold production. Yeah, absolutely. So everyone knows that uh, Beta Hunt was a nickel operation long before it was a gold operation. And uh, mining originally started there by Western Mining in 1974 and continued through to the late 1990s. Over 185,000 tons of nickel were mined, including 32,000 tons from a zone called the Beta Zone underground, all in that 25 to 3%. Now, of course, we have our own existing resource at Beta Hunt, about 16,000 tons, uh, nickel tons, that is, in the high 2% range. Now, the 50C, or Gamma Zone, as we're also calling it, which we announced last week, we believe it could be similar to that historic beta zone that was mined previously. So very exciting there. Obviously some tremendous grades there as well, which we expect to roll into our byproduct credits. But one of the other benefits of having that long uh, history of operation at Beta Hunt is that we have over 400 kilometers of existing underground development at Beta Hunt. And that's good both for mining, the, the historic nickel operations are immediately on top of where we're currently mining gold, but also for exploration. We have fantastic locations for drill bays, uh, which we've obviously demonstrated with these last two major nickel updates. So stay tuned there. But yeah, the history is definitely playing into our future success. Absolutely. So one of the major structures that runs right down through the Kalgoorlie belt passes right underneath Lake Cowan, which is a dry salt lake bed. We do remind our investors that it's not a, uh, a, a deep, uh, deeply submerged lake bed. It is dry. You can drive it on it with your truck. So that area historically, due to the royalty burden that was on the property, was very underexplored. However, we did conduct a gravity survey and a structural survey last year. And when we matched those two up, we found some very large anomalies, which we wanted to test under Lake Cowan last year. So we started off with a scout drilling program, uh, which is an air core rig. It drills about 100 meters or drills to about refusal. And we ran that in the late part of last year, early this year, and obviously announced some tremendous results. We were looking for anything that was anomalous gold, which is over 0 0.02 grams per ton, basically looking for indications of mineralization. But what we returned was 50 meters of 1.35 grams per ton, almost from surface, which is actually ore grade in a scout drilling program. So we were very excited about that. We systematically finished that program over the course of March. Those assays are pending in in the laboratories now. Obviously, as everybody's aware, in Western Australia, we're getting uh, significant delays with return of assays due to overwhelming demand on the labs. However, once we get those results back, we'll then vector into the, the more significant targets. Of course, that one drill hole is certainly going to be one of them. And we'll follow up with uh, RC drilling as well as diamond core drilling and see if we're sitting on, on top of something large there. As a reminder, you know, that district around us has had over 100 million ounces mined out of it and just to the south of us we have 6 million ounces at Norseman to the north of us we have 14 million ounces at St. Ives so certainly very large deposits there and we want to make sure that if we're sitting on top of one we get some drill holes into it. 
Yeah, for sure. So obviously lots of continued drilling results will come out when we have them from the labs. Uh, but on top of that, we'll be announcing our growth plan here in the second quarter, which is a large announcement for the company. We're going to map out the next several years of production and how we grow Corora from the 115,000 ounce a year producer it is today. Uh, beyond that, we're quite excited to put that out. We put a lot of work into that over the last six to nine months here. Uh, we'll also be uh, reporting production, of course. We expect to have some production results out here at some point this week or next for the first quarter, uh, continued financial reporting. And then, of course, with our chairman and CEO moving down to Australia, we're going to be working hard on evaluating a potential ASX listing. So that's something we're working on over the course of the year. And then last but certainly not least, we're executing on the phase one mill expansion at Higginsville, which is an expansion by 15% to 1.6 million tons per annum. We'd expect to exit the year at that rate. So stay tuned on, on production updates and, and quarterly improvements as we get towards the end of the year. Uh, with respect to what areas we're going to be mining, of course, our high-grade Spargos open pit uh, will be mine, starting to be mined by mid this year. We'll also have an updated resource estimate out on Spargos. And then we're going underground again at Higginsville. We're going to have uh, our first underground operation there with two boys coming online by mid-year as well. Uh, so those all together should dovetail nicely into uh, improved uh, a quarter over quarter grave improvements as we move through the year. Every quarter should improve on the previous one. And then last but certainly not least, of course, we have the very exciting Larkin Zone at Beta Hunt. Uh, we're drilling that off as we speak. Uh, we'll be providing an updated resource and reserve update for the the entire company uh, towards the end of the year. And that'll be the first one to include the Larkin Zone. So lots to look forward to.